so uh, next in subscription uh, in your dashboard you can see your uh, who are the subscribers uh, what are their plans sorry what plans available so if you want to generate coupon code you can create coupon code from here so how much percentage of type 10 percentage of for example you can also specify amount like two dollars duration uh, only once if it is uh, used once you can give it once uh, id code so uh, you can give this uh, like festival coupon so you can specify how many times this coupon can be used also you can specify a date uh, for how long this will be valid so and any random data in future so this is the percentage of uh, if a customer uses this coupon it specifies amount so although this amount is not uh, mandatory okay so here uh, we created this coupon so we we may not insert this it will automatically calculate out of it so we can give 50 percent off then it will automatically calculate so yes so this is one time coupon so this is the coupon code and only maximum 100 can be used up to this date so let's create that coupon okay so we successfully created this coupon code in our dashboard so what we can do here is let's log out so what we can do is we can uh, insert here one uh, form where we can insert that coupon code so let's go to subscribe dot blade and we can insert here our field so input type text name will be coupon okay so we can insert that coupon and in our controller we can grab that coupon code so we can directly do it here so i think uh, the method for coupon code in cashier is with coupon yeah so uh, you can simply do with coupon and you can uh, get that out from request so which is the name we used here also, okay so now let's register with another user let's go to block let's subscribe so this time we'll subscribe with uh, this coupon code so uh, festival coupon Now subscribe with our TIS card number. So regular price is eleven dollar. Now we should get fifty percent off. Okay, we are subscribed. Let's go to our customers. Load new customer. Okay, so this time we charge us five point five dollars. So regular price is eleven. So we charge five point five. So since uh, this is one time coupon, uh, next time the customer will be charged $11. So you can see we will next invoice for this on 12.05. Yeah, so that worked accurately. So let's see that in our database end as well. We got another user with all of this information. All right, so this is how we apply coupon codes.